Hey, how you doing? My name is Linus and today I'm here with Allie. Hey. And we're going to be shooting Cinestill 50D. It is a daylight balanced, fine grain film that we offer in 120 and 35 millimeter. It's perfect for old cameras with low shutter speeds and shooting portraits on bright and sunny days. Now uh, let's get to shooting. Motion picture film is especially sensitive to light, so loading it in the shade can help you prevent some light streaking and piping. Let's do it. You could just uh, come stand in the sun a little bit and lean into it and cross your arms. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try this one. Do you mind looking out that way? Yeah, that's sick. Three, two, one. Nice. Sweet. Shot one down. I wanna do a super symmetrical one, I think. If you would sit right here. Yeah, like right in the middle like that. And I'll just back up real far so I can get the, the symmetry going. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. So I'm shooting this scene with this uh, lone tree here and um, I'm gonna try overexposing and underexposing a little bit. So I'm gonna start with uh, F4 at 250th of a second. And that's metered for the shadows right here. Three, two, one, and nice. Now I'm gonna overexpose a little bit by going down to 125th of a second. Three, two, one. Nice. So we're here in our next location. We've got a Joshua tree that um, Ali is standing under. I've metered for the bark of the tree. I'm at 2.8 um, at a 500th of a second. And uh, that's metering for the shadows, of course. Two, one. Nice, let me do this uh, other one really quick. What I'm doing right now is called bracketing. Pretty much you take two exposures and you just decide which one you like better. Oh, look at that actual tumbleweed. That's crazy. Never thought I'd see the day. Will you lean your back into the tree and then put your feet on the rock if you can? Um, I'm gonna try to do a slightly closer portrait. I'm metering for the shadows at 2.8 of a second, so her face should be exposed properly, even though it's in the shadows. Nice. I'm just shooting a photo of my car uh, at f2.8. 500th of a second. Um, I just think these mountains and these power lines and the blue sky is all just so pretty. So I'm gonna go for it. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that is the, um, the end of the roll. <laughs> Okay, so we are back at HQ. We just developed and scanned our 50D from the desert. We got right back from the desert and developed immediately because we wanted to preserve the latent image latitude and color fidelity of the negative. Now we thought it would just be cool to take a second and go through some of the images we shot and talk about what makes 50D so special. 50D is a fine grain film that gives you a creamy painterly look that I think looks really great in direct sunlight. Since 50D is a lower speed film, it allows you to have a shallow depth of field while you shoot portraits in broad daylight, which is something we experimented a lot with today. What I love about this photo is that the latitude allows for the details in both the shadows and the highlights to be preserved, making for a really pretty, colorful, warm image. Also, we were able to keep a shallow depth of field as seen in the background, which I think is a really nice touch for an image that's clearly shot on such a bright day. Now let's move on to some of our bracketing shots. If you are unsure how to properly expose for a scene, I recommend bracketing. Bracketing is taking different exposures of the same scene, and you can do this by changing your aperture or your shutter speed. For this first photo of this tree, we shot at f4 at 250th of a second, and then we shot one stop over at 125th of a second. So our first example of bracketing was for overexposure, and our second example is for underexposure. So we have two of the same images here, both shot at f2.8, 
but one at 500th of a second, which is the proper exposure, and one at a thousandth of a second, which is underexposure. It was so good to get out and shoot a lower speed color film that has so much opportunity for a shallow depth of field, especially in such harsh daylight. As someone who sticks in the 400 to 800 film speed range, this was a super refreshing shoot for me. I recommend you shoot a roll if you haven't already, and you can pick some up at cinestillfilm.com. If you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you click subscribe because we're going to be going out and shooting a lot more film and reviewing it as well. Feel free to drop a like or a comment letting us know what you'd like to see next, and as always, I'm Linus, and I'll see you in the next one.